Hi, this is Peter Taiti and Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation, presenting case 25 for the Manual of Non-CTO Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating the reverse crash technique, which is also known as internal crash. The patient was a woman that presented with stable angina in the positive stress test for apical and lateral ischemia, had previous stents in the right coronary artery in the LAD, and diagnostic and geography demonstrated, demonstrated patent stents in the right coronary artery. However, the LAD had a severe lesion in the mid-segment. The cranial view shows that the LAD lesion was severe, and this uh, corresponds uh, to a Medina 101 bifurcation because there is disease in the main vessel proximal to the side branch takeoff. There is no disease in the main vessel distal to the takeoff of the side branch, and there is some disease in the ostium of the diagonal. So this is a Medina 101 bifurcation. How should we treat this bifurcation lesion? The first question to ask in any bifurcation lesion is whether the side branch the diagonal in our case, needs to be preserved. If it's a small branch that its occlusion would not have significant consequences, then we don't need to worry about it. But in this case, that was a fairly significant, fairly large diagonal branch. The second question here is, what is the likelihood of occluding the side branch when standing the main vessel? And if that's considered to be low, then provisional is the way to go. If it's considered to be high, then a planned two-stand strategy may be preferred. In this particular case, there was some disease in the diagonal ostium, but we thought it was unlikely to lose it because the lesion did not appear to be significant, at least angiographically. Therefore, we decided to do a provisional approach. Uh, we did uh, uh, balloon inflation in the proximal vessel, and then after wiring the diagonal branch, we performed um, OCT. We could not wire the diagonal branch originally, that's why the balloon angioplasty was done. What OCT demonstrates is the presence of uh, neointima in the more distal stand. There is actually some dissection after we did the balloon angioplasty. And we're coming more proximal. This is the takeoff of the diagonal branch that now has a wire in it. And as we come even more proximal, uh, the previously placed stent appears to be well expanded without significant neointima. So we decided to use the provisional stenting strategy. We placed a wire in the diagonal and then stented across the origin of the diagonal. This um, had um, a Right, nice result in the main vessel, and there was still flow in the diagonal, which is what we had suspected. But the question remains now, is this lesion more severe, and does this require any treatment? One way to decide this is to do multiple projections. However, sometimes uh, there can be um, difficulty in determining the significance of this lesion. That is why we did an IFR. We advanced a pressure wire into the diagonal branch and did an IFR, and that was 0 0.73, suggesting significant ischemia. And given that this is a large branch, we decided that we needed to treat it. How can we treat it? There are broadly two options. One is to just do balloon angioplasty, and the other option is uh, to place an additional stand. If one decides to do balloon angioplasty, then the technique uh, uh, has to do with um, uh, placing the stand in the main vessel, then performing the proximal optimization technique, then uh, rewiring into the side branch um, into through a, ideally a distal strut, and then uh, uh, performing kissing balloon inflation that uh, opens up the struts uh, to the side branch. And the same thing can be done, but instead of a kissing balloon, one could do balloon inflation on the side branch only, and then a repot uh, strategy. The other option is to put an additional stand, and the most common uh, way to be able to do this uh, is uh, by wiring this time through a proximal strut and placing a stand using the internal crash technique. And this is what we decided to do in this particular case. 
So we had the stand placed across the ostium of the LED. We placed a wire into the diagonal branch. And then uh, we ballooned the ostium of the side branch. And it still did not look great. And that is why we placed an additional stand into a side branch protruding for 2-3 millimeters into the main vessel. We want to make sure that the origin of the diagonal is covered. And then uh, we had also a balloon in the main vessel to crush the side branch stand after it's deployed. So we deployed the stand into the diagonal and then we removed it and we crushed the stand portion of the diagonal that was into the LED by inflating the balloon. Then we rewired through the struts of the LED and did the final kissing balloon inflation. And this provided a nice result with a good flow in both the LED and the diagonal branch. There are several potential lessons from this case. The first one is that uh, provisional strategy, although it is the preferred strategy for the vast majority of bifurcations, does have a risk of uh, uh, pinching or creating a significant stenosis or dissection on the origin of the side branch, which is what happened in our case. If it's not uh, very clear that the side branch has significant stenosis, a functional assessment with an FFR or IFR as done in this case can be used to assist with assessment to determine the hemodynamic significance of the ostium. If that is significant, then there are two ways to treat it. One is to attempt balloon angioplasty only, doing a pot before rewiring and a pot afterwards or a final kissing balloon or by placing an additional stand that can be done through the reverse crash technique as shown in this particular case. The key parts of the reverse crash are to wire uh, through the proximal strut, place the stand having the balloon into the main vessel, the stand is deployed into the side branch with the balloon sitting undeployed into the main vessel, the stand is deployed, the stand balloon is removed, the stand struts protruding into the main vessels are crushed by inflating the balloon into the main vessel, and then we rewire into the side branch, which can be facilitated by a dual lumen microcatheter, such as a twin pass, and then do a final kissing balloon inflation and possibly doing a final pot. Thank you.